Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing Last Night, which is a free horror game available on itch.io. I will put a link for it down below in my description. It is a short indie horror game where you work in a fast food restaurant. As with most horrors, you soon realize there is something wrong as your co-worker is missing. So let's jump straight into it. So June 12th, 2008. This is my first day of work at this restaurant. We start the game at this bus stop in God knows where <laughs> beside a road. Uh, looks like we work in a place called Haunted Hamburger. Now that is a bit of a concern and name for a fast food restaurant. I'm not gonna lie. Either the building or the burgers are haunted. Either way, it's not good. I will say though, their mascot is super cute. Look at him. So our first objective is to get to the place of work. Luckily, we are here. I take it they just want us to enter the building. So let's go around and do that. There is also no shift to run in this. We have to walk everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> What a good little jump scare to have. <laughs> oh, he is cute, but I did not appreciate that in the slightest. Oh, but I can't stay mad at that face. <laughs> that was a good one. I do want to know what kind of workplace would have something like that there to scare their employees as they are starting their shift. Not particularly a place I'd want to work now if every day when I went into the building that happened. Okay, so looking around the place, uh, looks like we're on the late shift uh, by look things. It's after 12 midnight. Oh, they have donuts. I am actually, the graphics of this game are really nice as well. The donuts look cool, that kind of cubey look. So first thing is to clear the workplace of debris and put it into order. So we're just going to clean up around the place, I suppose. Whatever shift were on before me were super messy by the looks of it. Who leaves a slice of pizza on the ground just like that and doesn't clean up after themselves? Oh, we have a radio as well. Uh, let's see if that works. Okay, okay. It's not the most upbeat of music for working a shift, but I can appreciate it. Right, yeah. Gonna get back to cleaning and <laughs> get this place up and running. I have gotten now everything in this room sorted and it's still on my objective. So I must be missing something. Um, There is a door. Yeah, well, I'll go out and I'll see. Okay, so we have to actually clean up out here as well. And it's just as messy out here. What kind of shift? <laughs> what kind of people were on this shift before me? I'm going to leave a note. Uh, for the early shift, just to tell them that this is not on at all. Who leaves somewhere like this? There is stuff everywhere, but we'll put it all into this bin. Just going to move on and get this shift started. Right, so that is done. The next objective is to turn on the exterior signage. That is weird. Does this fast food restaurant only open after midnight? So we're turning on the exterior signage now to say that we're open. I suppose it is called Haunted Hamburger, but turning the sign on after midnight? Our ghost pal is still here anyway, just chilling. Oh, it's a shame. Like, why can't we scare the customers with him? I don't know why we have to be scared when we should actually be able to maybe have him scare the customers instead. I am going to name him though because we haven't been given a name for him. And I'm just going to call him Frank going forward. So that is Frank. So it's just Frank and me chilling in here. Go back then and wait for a customer to come along. Oh, and here we go. Our first customer. And they are already so impatient and rude. And they also have now the weirdest order. So their order is a burger and a green and a purple donut. Let's see what we do. The donuts are easy, they're just behind us, so I'm just going to pick them up and put them into, I'm assuming, this tray in front of the orders. 
So those are the donuts done. I'm going to go in and try to figure out this burger situation. Yeah, in the other room, there's the burgers. Oh, there's buns and there's cheese as well. I'm just going to put this burger onto the grill. Perfect. So that is, that's actually grilling. And I'm just going to put the bun and the cheese here beside it. That customer is so annoying. I don't know why they keep beeping. I am trying my best. I'm on my own in here. It's a shame Frank wouldn't stand in now and actually help me on this one. But look, there's their burger done at least. So that's one order done and dusted. And that is in record time, if I do say so myself, even if the customer doesn't think so. There you go, Mr. Customer. Don't come back. So this game is giving me both burgers and frights vibes with the graphics and also a bit of Chilla Arts, the coffee shop, just with the mechanics of having to put the orders together, even putting them on the tray to actually give them out to the customers. They are both great little games, so nice to see them both kind of mixed in together. And here we go, another impatient customer. They are so rude. Now they want burger, milk, and a pink donut. That is such an odd combination. The milk is healthy, at least, though, I suppose. But who looks for a burger, a donut, a milk at midnight? And they have such aggressive energy as well. Frank is really letting the team down here by not dealing with them and scaring me instead of scaring them. So let's get this done for them in record time. I'm gonna put this together. And here we go. We have another satisfied customer that I hope we never see again. Okay, now we have to make a trip to the warehouse for meat. Oh, now my nerves are starting to kick in a bit. Because we've already had the jump scare with Frank, which I have forgiven him for that. But I know we have to go back outside to go to the warehouse. So I am assuming there is another jump scare. Be prepared. But let's be brave together. And Frank will protect us, hopefully. It is spookily quiet going around here. So I definitely know it's building up to something. I'm just going to have a quick look behind me. But no, there's nothing there. Just going to open the door. Just going to brave it and just go in and do it. Oh, lovely. So that must be the missing co-worker. Oh my God, is that their foot as well? And beside the burgers. This is so unhygienic. Oh, I can't pick up the cleaver. I wanted something to protect myself because I can only imagine what is coming next. Oh, I'm afraid to go back out because I don't want to go back out. There's probably going to be a jump scare and it's going to get me. But oh, let's do it. I have to go in and I have to protect Frank now. Oh. Okay, uh, never mind. That must be the end of the game. I'm so sorry, Frank. I couldn't protect you. I did try to go back for you, though. Uh, you were last seen the day you disappeared. That's a bit of a confusing sentence. It's kind of like, you know, when you lose something and you say it to someone and they say, did you check where you lost it? And you're like, no, if I knew where I lost it, it wouldn't be lost. It's a bit, it's a bit like that would say, you were last seen the day you disappeared. I would assume so. And since then, there has been no trace of your fate. Why are you still here if the game is already over? Okay, I, I do feel called out on that one, but that actually is pretty funny. I was kind of hoping we might see Frank one last time, but no, afraid right, not by the looks of it. That is it. That is, I did say it was a short horror game. That is last night. So I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm going to put a playlist up in the top right here for my other Let's Play videos if you'd like to check them out. If there's any other games you think would be good for me to play and maybe even do a Let's Play for, please do comment below and let me know. Uh, but other than that, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, maybe give it a like. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye!